This is the Grunge Effect Masterclass inside of Premiere Pro. I'm going to be showing you guys all of the effects inside of the Premiere Pro that you can use to create super fire grunge effects and how they combo with each other. I'm going to be doing this on the Cardi 2024 music video because I think it matches his aesthetic purposely. I recommend you guys stay to the very end of the video because there is a ton of sauce in it, but let's hop right into this. So let's start off on a fire clip here. Let's do this one right here, the iconic clip. So to get started, let's go inside of effects here and it might seem crazy because there's a lot of different video effects inside of Premiere Pro inside of all these folders, but I think the coolest ones to stick by when it comes to grunge are something called Threshold. If we drag and drop that on, you guys can see it looks crazy, but if we pair that with something like noise, for example, let's drag and drop some noise on and then turn the noise up. And then wait for that, wait for it. If we drag the noise in behind the threshold, you guys could see we get this really crazy grunge effect here. And playing with the amount of noise really messes with the threshold here. So if I play this through for you guys, that is super grungy and looks hella unique. Now, another thing you can add to this is if you go inside of effects and search up tint, you can drag and drop that on top of your clip and go inside of effect controls again. Now, basically what this is going to do is it says map black to pick your color and map white to pick your color. So right now they're obviously black and white, but if you want to change everything on the video that's white to a different color, just click on the white and let's change it to red. You guys could see we get a super cool look just like that. It actually looks insane. Now there's a couple other things that you can add to spice this up. If we go inside of effects here, we can search mosaic and drag and drop that on. It's going to look a little bit crazy right now, but I recommend turning the horizontal and vertical blocks up to something like 300. You guys can see we get a crazy distorted camcorder look just like that. Now, remember, all of these are interchangeable and the different layers you put them at are really going to affect it. And if you mix in some overlays like you can find on YouTube, I'll go on Brave. I'll search camcorder overlay. There's a ton of these that you can download and just hit on screen and put on top of your video. Now let's move on to a completely different clip here. As you guys can see there, I'm gonna go ahead and delete these ones here. I think this one just looks super clean as it is. And there's a lot of different stuff that you can add to make it better. Now, if we go in and drag and drop noise again on top of this, bring it below everything, we can turn it up and then have some color noise in here, you guys can see. But there's a ton of different combinations and stuff. Those are the effects I really just stick by. Now, if we delete everything we have on this, I gotta show you guys my opium looks pack here. If we open it up, you have all of these drag and drop. You have them even with a glitch here. For example, on this clip here, drag and drop it. You guys can see the glitch is going crazy. And for that glitch, all it is is just going in here and typing VR digital glitch. Just drag and drop that on here. And you guys could see it looks like that. But once you pair it with the threshold, the grain, everything like that, it brings a whole new look to it, which I did inside of this preset pack here called Opium Looks that you guys can grab down below. Let's throw on camcorder here. You guys could see we get that distorted look super simply in a drag and drop click. Let's try this one here. We get a different camcorder. CRT looks super clean as well. And then we also have some scan lines inside of here. But yeah, when you really put all of these grunge effects together, you can accomplish some super crazy looks here. Let me just do a one more for you guys on this clip here. If we go inside the Lumetri color and just turn the exposure and just turn the saturation all the way down, we can then drag and drop on a lens distortion here. And if we go over here into effects, we can add some curvature to it to make it look like a CRT TV. And then we could zoom in on that just to get the stretch lines. And yeah, guys, that is the Grunge Effects Masterclass inside of Premiere Pro. If you guys want me to do an After Effects version or a version with some extensions or plugins or anything like that, let me know. I tried to keep everything super native in here. So if you guys enjoyed this, make sure to leave a like and comment down below what you guys want to see next. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.